Have you heard Quilter's joke about being giddy from fabric fumes? That is the state I am in right now because we just got back from a Quilter's estate sale and you will not believe what I got for 43 bucks. I originally thought about going to the sale on Saturday. I had a lunch date. I thought I could leave early and stop on the way up. And then I looked at the map and it was at the far end of town, out by the lake, up in the hills. And I decided I don't know that area. You're off the main path by this point. So I didn't think that I felt comfortable driving that far off the beaten track by myself. I decided I would go Sunday with the boys. This morning I asked if they would go with me and they did. And I am so glad I didn't do this alone because I have talked before about scouting out estate sales and seeing what terrain you are getting yourself into. This is not a place I would have felt comfortable going alone. The drive definitely took us up into the foothills. The house was hidden there back in the trees. This is the first thing the boys found when we got into the driveway. It is absolutely fascinating and horrifying. Thank God they didn't buy it second thing that caught my attention when we got into the garage, which was typical estate sale garage stuff, was one of those, you know, the roadside hazard kits. It was a beat up old sign and it said on one side engine stalled and on the other side, please help. We'd already driven up this road with me going, what is going to happen if we have car trouble? This is scary. The house inside was lovely. The people running the sale were lovely, but it didn't make a good first impression. I came very close to turning tail and running. I would have if I'd been alone. Typical estate sale house started out in the kitchen and they had doilies. If you watch my videos, you might know that a few weeks back I went to an estate sale and they had a big tub of doilies. <laughs> and I didn't buy, I bought some. Then I got home and saw where they used doilies to do things like make curtains and vowed that if I went back, if I found more doilies, I would get the doilies. They were selling things for $10 a bag. I got all the doilies. Maybe not literally all the doilies, but all the doilies that looked like I possibly wanted them. Some of them are like starched to within an inch of their lives. I don't know why you would do that to a doily, and I am hoping this stuff washes out. If it doesn't, that's okay. Life will go on. And they had some of these plastic doilies. doilies. I know I've seen them used as stencils for something. Can't quite remember what, but they came home with me because... $10 a bag, something like this does not make a difference in cost. It's like the Goodwill bins, but better. In its original box was a durable press soil release Dacron table cover. I wonder how old this is. It's old. It is 70 by 90 inches. It is lovely. If it was used, it was used carefully. I have a vague idea what I think I might want to do with it. But again, it's in that I'll figure it out realm. I have been seeing these lace curtains with houses on them that I had never seen until I saw them online. Then my husband and I went out to breakfast and the restaurant had them. I'm told they were popular in the 90s. And I've been looking for it. It has Victorian houses. This is pink. It's not the one I was looking for. But you know, to stumble across it in a state sale out of the blue, that's miracle enough for me. Unopened cheesecloth. The McDonald Observatory Newsletter. I have no idea that belongs to one of the boys. We go to things like this and they know that they are welcome to put stuff in the bag. Then I found the greeting cards. I have been wanting to make one of those bowls where you crochet around the edges and all that. So I don't think these are the greeting cards I need. A lot of them are unused. I think our 
quilter wrote thank you notes and things for her friends. Because look at that. Someday I will send happy mail. Someday I will need these. In addition to getting all the doilies, I got all the embroidery. We were close to the end of the sale. So I did not feel much guilt in swooping it all up because, you know, next stop, sad as that is, might have been the landfill. More doilies. And for the most part, these are just... Ooh, I was going to say run-of-the-mill doilies, but I like that. Possibly I should have unfolded these and looked at them a little closer before buying them. But I was going to buy them regardless because I have things I want to do. Think of all this beautiful handwork. And then we walked back into one of the bedrooms and I saw a crocheted thing with nups. I don't know if they're nups in crochet. I know they're nups in knitting. It is a counterpane bedspread. It is a king size counterpane bedspread. I'll try to get a full picture of it while we were there. This is glorious. And it would have taken up a whole bag. I would have paid $10 for this. I sent one of the boys with it to ask how much it was. $5. And 75% off of that. I trust that the man running the estate sale knows his business and what he is doing and did not argue. My only question, I had a horrified thought when I got home, what if this is wool? I was able to, without doing any damage, unweave a little bit of fringe, did a burn test, because the first thing you do with a new Afghan is set it on fire, right? And dang itself is extinguished. I'm going to have to do some research and proceed carefully. Then we were on into the living room. These are all boy double point knitting needles. Remember how I was talking about knitting a round tablecloth? I have these, which are all, I want to say that they are plastic, but who knows. And then all of these are metal, all the same size. Someone was knitting big round things. I, this, <laughs> Did I tell you I'm giddy? More doilies? I really could have done a video just for the doilies. Got a handful of crochet hooks and in with all of the little sewing bric-a-brac were several of these. It's a wooden thing with a nail on the end. And I just assumed that these were something for knitting or crocheting or quilting or something. And if you know what they are, please let me know because I have no clue. And some beads. And a very cute little shadow box thingy that we took off the wall and my son took, got it down for me. So I did not see the message on the back. I'm gonna give it a good home. I'm not gonna be sad about that. I'm going to give all this stuff a good home. I'm not going to be. So. Then we got into the room with the fabric. So at this point, I've got a bag of stuff full. Oh, and one of the boys found this. Her little basket has a pair of scissors that slipped out into one of the other bags. She's got a pin cushion. She holds some thread. I love the idea of her more than her paint job, but I'm thinking maybe we can repaint her. I went into the sewing room, spare bedroom, whatever it was, 
and there was a wall of books. There was a wall of shelves of pre-cut fabric squares. And my brain, when I am grabbing this stuff, I am bringing it to the quilt group because we need more fabric. All of these are pre-cut rectangles. I don't think they're all the same size. I think they will need to be trimmed. They were in a box, but the box wouldn't fit in my bag. I got all of them. I went just a little bit over there. But they had blocks. This woman's sewing stuff was incredibly well organized. It was all incredibly clean. Look at the string blocks. This is like half a quilt here for the group when I figure out what to combine it with. And it doesn't have to be me who does it. This is 69, six and a half inch blocks. Oh, are these rail fence? These are not rail fence, sweetie. But they are blocks. That's like a very good start on a quilt there. I would not be surprised if I have something in here that could be sashing for that quilt. I'm not as sure about these. They're plaids. These are blocks. It just went on and on and on and more rectangles. I have a die cutter, so I think I can run these through possibly and clean them up. Or not, I will dig into them later and figure out what I can do. <sighs> then folded on a shelf, I found these. Oh, it's interfacing. <laughs> are these Rosa Sharon blocks? I'm like fairly sure that they are. I am definitely sure that I have enough coordinating fabric here that I can finish them into a quilt of some sort. And she had... I think I already said a wall of books. There was a lady in there going through the books. She had been there, I think, both previous days of the sale. She was a very, very bad influence, enabler, whatever we want to call her. I got a handful of books. Do you remember the Women's Day Book of American Needlework Pattern Box? Somebody on FlossTube did a review. My mom found one at the thrift shop. I found one at the Goodwill bins. This estate sale had two more of them. And I decided that I didn't need them. But I did get the companion book because my mom does not have the companion book. The estate sale we drove to right after this one had the box set again for a dollar. So I did bring one home today, but not from this estate sale. And while I was digging through everything, I was almost ready to leave that room. The closet was full of batting. I glanced over at the bags hanging from the closet rail and out of the corner of my eye, poking out of the top of the bag, I saw this. Would you recognize these if you saw just the corner of the packaging? These are 11 inch square cue snaps, totally unopened. This is an 11 by 17 inch Q snap that was in its original packaging. It had been opened. This one is a 17 by 17. It's been opened, so I haven't put this one together to see if it is all there. Even if these are just spare parts, I have been wanting more Q snaps. Mine are going on 20 years old, and after heavy use, they loosen up a bit. They're about 17 bucks a piece. Nobody sells them locally. I'd have to order them online. So three sets. They are tighter than the ones that I already own. I can't believe how close I came to missing them. Of course, I never would have known I'd missed them, but this, it, between the bedspread and the cue snaps, and at that point, my boys had been being very patient, and I was ready to leave, and... 
my oldest son had been talking to the guy about the house which was going on the market because my son really liked the house told me the bedroom opens up onto the pa the deck I didn't know there was a deck there was a deck and there was fabric on the deck and it was all neatly organized in plastic pull out drawers by color and theme. This was day three of the sale. This stuff had been picked through and picked through again, and I cannot believe what was left. It's over on the other table, but I got a whole stack of fabrics in bricks and stones and all the natural textures. You'd need to do those house applique quilts that were popular a while back. I got all kinds of blues. I got all kinds of white on white. Every selvage I noticed was quilt shop quality. I am not picky about my fabric. Usually when you find an estate sale, you'll have a lot of Joann stuff you recognize from Joann's over the years. This is all real. This is all mostly fish. I, I'm smitten. I don't know how to react to this because it is amazing. I spent 40, $42, which included my new bedspread and the, a pegboard I bought for the boys for paper grocery sacks full to the gills. I have a whole Rubbermaid tub here of fabric. And I'm not going to flip through all of it because that sounds like it would be really boring for you and really stressful for me, but there's a lot of quilts here. I'm going to go through, see what I'm going to sew up. The rest of it I will quite happily donate to my quilt group. They're doing another sale next weekend. And you can bet if I have a chance, I'm going back. Don't know if I'd go without a boy. They're good for hauling bags and loading the car and stuff. And especially going further down that gravel road to turn around. <laughs> Sales like this are few and far between, but oh boy, are they worth looking for. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. I'll be back with you with more videos soon. And I'm going to start kidding some of this stuff up and I will definitely be back with more videos showing you the fabric and what I'm going to do with it.